What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, hello. It's nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who just realized right now that you were out of coffee. Unfortunately, you remembered right as you went to make coffee. You look great. I hope you're having a good day. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're doing, whether you're at home or school or work, feeding the kids, feeding yourself, doing the laundry, thinking about doing the laundry, whatever it is, I'm glad you're here to spend some time with me. All right, we have a classic r slash anti MLM trash video and I'm excited for it. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes these videos are more funny. Well, this one, it definitely has some funny parts, but uh, you'll see, it's just, these Huns are really on one. They're really, they're really, uh, <laughs> they're really doing it this time. So uh, if that sounds interesting to you, then please stay tuned. Sister-in-law's wedding makeup artist turned out to be a Hun. Long read. So my sister-in-law asks if I want to pay to have my makeup done for her wedding. She didn't tell me who it was or who they were with. I said no thanks simply because I have really oily skin and I just know if I don't do it myself, it won't work out. Fast forward a couple months. It's the weekend of her bachelorette party, and she tells us that Saturday morning the makeup lady is coming over to do her full face trial and I think you guys are just picking up colors that you want. I'm not really sure. I also discovered that I'm the only one who chose not to have her do my makeup. Great. The lady gets there and as soon as she walks in the door, I'm internally like, no, she's Mary Kay. I'm dying. Like I've always been very anti MLM, very. I'm so irritated at this point. So she sets up downstairs and it's like a full on Mary Kay party. Literally my worst nightmare. So since I've said I wasn't having her do my makeup, I sit on the floor. She invites me anyway. Says she had a spot for me, whatever. For my sister-in-law's sake, I'm not gonna refuse to participate. We go through the whole thing and my makeup looks awful. And of course the hun has done a whole speech about how amazing this makeup is, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm so greasy you could fry an egg on me. We get done and I pointed out that to her, I mentioned that I normally use a lot of translucent powder and she gives me a literal dusting and thinks it works. It doesn't. The rest of the day, I look terrible. Also, throughout conversations, she has made it very clear that my name brand makeup is garbage compared to her stuff, which really annoyed me. Okay, stick with me here. It gets better. I end up telling my sister-in-law that I only want her to do my eyes and lashes for the wedding. Sister-in-law wants her eye makeup to match, and I get that. So the wedding day comes, I do my hair and foundation, and the hun does my eyes. Oh, and by the way, she made a snide comment about my MAC setting spray. My eyes actually looked great. I go to Venmo her. She charged me for a whole face. I was ticked. But I paid it because I didn't want to cause a fuss. I know, I should have been more assertive. Then she gave us $10 off coupons to use later, as if. <laughs> I love the use of the as if. I was so annoyed with the whole ordeal. I knew you Huns would be the only people to understand how livid I was. If you actually read all this, you're a champ. Hey, thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it is pretty terrible. She charged you for her whole face, and I'm kind of wondering if she did that knowing that you wouldn't want to kick up a fuss because the fact that it was, you know, a big ordeal, it was a wedding. And, you know, on one hand, I understand. I'm, I'm totally with you. I probably would have done the same thing uh, where I would have just paid it because weddings are chaos, right? So it's like the last thing you want to do is add anything else to that. So I, I get that, especially for your sister-in-law's sake. Um, but at the same time, sure, you should be able to be like, hey, no, I only want to pay for what I, you know, what, what treatment I, I got, right? So, uh, I don't know. What do you think below? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I actually started reading this one in the Hunbot voice, but halfway through I got really upset. Uh, you'll see why. So I have good news. Three years ago, I found out that I was HIV positive. That's not the good news. Every day I've woken up tired, irritated, and I'd be over my day before it even started. I'm not saying that these products are a cure, but they sure as heck are a lifesaver. For the first time in three years since I found out, my hair is growing back, the lymph nodes on the back of my neck are gone, and I don't feel like my body is slowly decaying. Even if this promoter thing doesn't work out, I'm a Thrive customer for life. Well, I'm seriously so happy for you, baby. Ugh. Um, that is disgusting. And if she really is HIV positive, then, you know, I'm sorry for you for that. That's, yeah, that's going to be something you're going to have to deal with. And, and 
that's terrible but that does not excuse you from attempting to claim that your symptoms are any better because of the thrive i think that that is so wrong and and she's very careful with her wording okay let's go ahead and look over her wording for the first time in three years since i found out my hair is growing back the lymph nodes on the back of my neck are gone and i don't feel like my body is slowly decaying so she doesn't say the words this cured hiv or i am now hiv negative she doesn't say anything like that but she does these weird she well, alludes to it, right? Okay, it, it's pretty easy to imply what she's getting at here. She's definitely implying that her health has improved since taking Thrive. And the only thing you could deduce from that is that the Thrive is somehow helping with her HIV positiveness. And I'm just disgusted with that. And boo, I need to take a deep breath. Everyone take a deep breath. Let's go deep breath in, in through the nose out through the mouth okay that's really gross and like i said if she if she does have hiv if that's true then i'm sorry f for that i am I, I i wouldn't wish that on anybody and but but what you're claiming here the things you're saying is just so immoral it's so immoral what if somebody sees that? What if somebody is HIV positive and they are taking medication for it and then they see this and they think that it's gonna work because they believe you and they take your quote unquote advice and then what if something happens to them? I mean, fill in the blank. Okay, I'm gonna go into the next one. I'm sorry, folks. Disneyland Hun shut down. My husband and I were enjoying some bread bowl gumbo on the tables right next to the New Orleans Alley this past week at Disneyland and had a front row seat to this madness. Can I just say entirely off topic, a bread bowl of gumbo sounds absolutely incredible right now and that's all I can think about at this moment, so. A lady in the group next to us spilled some sort of hot beverage on her legs and an employee went to get some ice. While the cast member was gone, this hun at another table brought over a case she fished out of her stroller. Hi, I have something that will help. Thanks, but I'm okay. I'm trained. Don't worry. The girl went to get some ice already. Then the cast member returned with a baggie of ice and hands it to the lady. The hun cracks open her case and pulls out a bottle. Hun. Put this on your skin and set the ice and it will heal by tomorrow. Cast member. Uh, ma'am, would you like me to get you first aid? Lady. I'm fine. Honestly, the drink was sitting here for a while before I spilled it. The cast member tells the hun that any first aid will be done by the park, but thanked her for her help, a.k.a. go away. Hun, don't worry, it's all natural products, so it won't hurt anyone. Cast member, I understand, but it's policy to offer first aid for any park injuries. Ma'am, if you're okay, let's go get you another of what you had. The lady gathered her stuff and went off with the employee to get away from the hun. Yay, cast member. I later saw the hun in line for a ride. She had her case out and was talking to some teenagers. I heard this as I walked past her. This one I use in place of Tylenol. Ugh. <laughs> and greatest to teenagers too. What a, what a vulnerable demographic. Uh, I hope those teenagers just rolled their eyes and, and walked away and uh, did the usual teenager thing. No shade to teenagers at all. I'm just saying in this case, use your teenager, teenager power as well. That would be a good time to to enact that teenager eye-rolling power that can uh, infuriate and, and confuse any and every adult. So that would be the time to use it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty awesome how she's like trying to insert herself in the middle of this uh, ordeal. A woman, you know, is at a Disneyland uh, excursion, you know, and she gets something spilled on her. And then the park person is like, oh, here, let's take care of it. And then Han jumps in and says, don't put ice on it. Rub this oil on it instead. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> I wonder if she's just prowling around Disneyland entirely just for that purpose. Well, I guess she probably is if she brought her case. But it said she had a stroller too. Ooh, there was no mention. Now I'm wondering, was she even there with a child? Or was she just there pushing her oils around like in a stroller? <laughs> I mean, uh, it wouldn't surprise me uh, either way whether she had a child and she was there selling her product while she was with her kid or pretending she had a kid and using the stroller just to push her product around. It could be either one. I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> it is funny how you saw her later trying to do the same thing. Wow. <laughs> I wonder how much money she spent to get into Disneyland in the first place. Like, I know that place is expensive. <laughs> 
Amish Bucky accident, our prayers go out to the parents and Amish community who are suffering such unimaginable grief due to the buggy accident. If you would like to help them with expenses, please go to avon.com slash fundraiser. Blank, blank, blank to place an order. My profits will be sent to the family. Thanks. Promoting yourself in a caring way. Found yourself a way to take advantage of the site. Avon is an MLM. I highly doubt any of the funds are actually going to this family. Even then, how is this connected to our neighborhood? Hmm, good question. Um, that's a good question. Well, we saw recently, right, was it the uh, breast cancer charity? They found a way to not only uh, not actually lose any money or technically donate, they added more money to it. So not only were they breaking even, but they were actually making more than uh, they would have normally. So this makes me suspicious too of these products. I feel like they're going to be upped in price or they're going to have like these fake bundle prices on them and it's all going to be uh, increased. And in, you know, I just don't trust this stuff anymore. And it is kind of funny how someone's like, how is this connected to our neighborhood even? Like, I, I'm curious to know how far away uh, this is from where they are. <laughs> um, or from where the people live who uh, are active on this um, site anyway, <laughs> or this particular group, whatever this is. Look, I haven't had social media in a while. I can't recognize Facebook from Instagram. I don't know the difference anymore. I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, it could be Yelp for all I know. Um, <laughs> but that is pretty funny and also terrible. Uh, it's, it's good to know that, um, you know, it's kind of like understood amongst various MLMs to go ahead and exploit various catastrophes uh of all different kinds you know for your for your benefit and it's fine and yeah i know that lots of other companies and businesses and corporations have done similar things for a long long time i'm not excluding them from that at all it just seems like you know mlms in particular are extremely opportunistic <laughs> that's and that's saying it nicely by the way oh good before and after we love these before and after. I am so emotional seeing my girls before and after. Wait, I don't know if this is a guy or a girl reading it. Okay, I'm going to just read it regular. <laughs> I am so emotional seeing my girls before and after. Not even a full month on the product and I see so much change. This is why I promote these products and share them with you all. This is why I stand by these products. So excited to see the difference after 3, 6, and 12 months. Uh, okay, we're going to get into the caption after. Uh, let's talk about the photos and see if we notice any differences. The only difference I see between the photo on the left and the photo on the right uh, is that the photo on the right, her hair is wet. That's it. Um, oh, and if you can't tell, the photo on the left is the before and the one on the right is the after. Okay, so the photo on the left looks like she had the flash on so that it reflected in a way to make it look more sparse. And she's also kind of more straight down. If you see, she's like straight down on top of the crown of the head. And then on the one on the right, you can see the hair is brushed kind of back slightly and it's also wet. So you can actually, it, it appears to be thicker and fuller. But in reality, it's just wet because, uh, let's just be real. Okay, um, to see a benefit in your hair of growth and thickness and fullness, if you're trying to like, you know, improve your diet and stuff, or maybe you're taking a vitamin that's supposed to improve it, you're not going to see major results, if any, after a month. This stuff takes a long time. It's like growing your nails. This stuff takes time. And, you know, if, you, if you're using a good shampoo, your hair, like that strand of hair hanging off your head, if it's already damaged and split, guess what? There is no way to make it come back together. You can't use a shampoo that's going to suddenly glue your split ends. All you can do is, is nourish your scalp so that the new hair growing can become healthier and healthier, right? That's kind of... I'm oversimplifying the entire process, I understand, but I think you under you guys get it. <laughs> you guys get it better than I do anyway. So, um, yeah, okay, so that would take a while to show anyway. And then I guess my other issue is, again, I, I cut off, I've managed to cut off somehow uh, what company this is. Uh, I'm going to guess it's Monet, but I, I don't, I'm not sure. And I know it's an MLM for sure, but I'm just not sure which one. But... Um, so the caption says, I am so emotional seeing my girls before and after. So either this is about a partner referring to their partner, their girl, right? You know, people do in their relationship, they'll call their person their girl or something, whatever, whatever. Uh, so it's either that or it's a parent with their child or their daughter, uh, which that one obviously concerns me way more than the former uh, because um, 
anytime they put any kind of products on their children or like if they if they're a, a shake type MLM they have their kids drinking those weird shakes I just I have a lot of conflicting issues with that uh, I do I kids are very susceptible they're very vulnerable they want to do whatever you tell them to because you're their parents they're gonna believe everything you say up until a certain point mind you and then all that goes out the window so enjoy but, uh, so I guess, I, I don't know, I, I don't know if this is an adult, so I don't want to, like, freak out if it is, because then I just sound ridiculous, but if it is a child, like, that's a whole separate issue that I have a problem with. <laughs> this one's multifaceted. As I begin reading this one, you might ask yourself, Den Mother, what the heck does this have to do with MLMs? Well, <laughs> just hang on to your socks, folks, <laughs> you'll see. Brought my three-year-old to the ER because she had an asthma attack. Her oxygen was low and her heart rate was high. We are still here and the doctor told me they might admit her for a few days. They keep asking why I don't want to give her the flu shot. They told me the flu shot is highly recommended for kids with asthma. I do not want to give her the flu shot. I told them no a few times. They are still asking if I am sure and I must think about her health. The flu shot will help her. Any advice? Stand your ground and do not do it. Just tell them firmly you do not want it and keep your daughter in your sight at all times. The shot has severe adverse reactions, especially if she already has asthma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, praying hands. I am not giving it to her. They are so forceful. No means no. Yes, it does. Praying for you and your sweet girl. <sighs> Just say no, that you'll follow up with your primary doctor after discharge. I see so many people giving advice and they do not have a medical degree. I'd go with the medical professional. They see this over and over and over and they know what helps. Yes, what matters is this beautiful little girl's health. The medical degrees come with a big pharma leaning that pushes their chemicals over natural cures. Good gosh. I just threw my pen. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure you could tell the person in orange is the only sane person here. Well, I guess whoever it was in the purple who responded said, yes, all that matters is this little girl's health. Like, yes, those two people know what they're talking about. They are correct. Listen to your doctor only. Don't wa do not take advice off of a Facebook comment group. Do not take medical advice from people who do not have degrees. Do not. <laughs> Because there's so many, yeah, yeah, there's so much going on here. Okay, hold on. Uh, I promise. This is, I, I know we're still not at the MLM roundabout point, but we're getting there. Just, are you, are you with me, folks? Are you still there? She is admitted and breathing much better, thank God. They are very concerned about her breathing. She has her own room, so I put on my diffuser with On Guard and breathe. The doctor told me to turn it off and said to me, Do you know how harmful essentials are? Maybe that's what triggered her asthma. <laughs> Honestly, when I almost said to that doctor, I did not. Breathe is the reason I started with doTERRA. It saved my son when he had the worst asthma attack. <sighs> Okay, so your child's having an asthma attack and you choose to puff out a diffuser full of On Guard and Breathe, whatever those, those are just their blends, I'm assuming, the doTERRA blends, but no, stop, don't do that, please. Just because it is a natural occurring product does not mean that it isn't harmful. Essential oils in certain uh, quantities and concentrations can kill house pets, okay? Just... <sighs> this is so wrong. I mean, it, it, I have so many issues with this. I, I really hope... I Can the doctor, like, make her turn it off? What about other patients in that hospital? Like, they don't need to be exposed to that either. And just the fact that she has... As a parent, she chooses to throw out any responsibility she may have in this. Like, the doctor's saying, perhaps... Perhaps the essential oils are what triggered her. And instead of thinking critically and being like, you know, maybe it could have something to do with it. Why don't I try not using it and see what Instead of having any of that kind of critical thinking at all, it just goes straight to the doctor's got to be wrong. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and pump this chemical out in front of my child regardless. <sighs> wow. Okay. My blood is rising. The heat is rising. My face is red. My ears are hot. Um... 
Woof. Okay, no, that really upset me. I'm sorry. I, uh, let me know below if, if you feel the same level of rage that I feel because it just really overwhelmed me. <laughs> but this is wrong, right? Like, this is wrong. I mean, I'm all for naturopathy. I'm all for finding cures that are alternative cures to Western medicine. I'm one of those people. I really believe in Western and Eastern. I believe that medicine is, is not a linear thing. I don't think just one way is the answer. I think people are multifaceted and, and everybody's different and lots of different things can work for different people, but this is not it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> So I blurred out a word here uh, that YouTube doesn't like you to use in these videos uh, at all. And um, so I did blur it out, but I will say uh, you could probably infer what the word is. You guys are smart cookies. You don't need me to spell everything out for you. But this Hunbot used the word no less than four times in this tiny little statement here. Okay, so there is a blank every 12 minutes blank affects everyone one way or another. My Manny today is to help bring awareness to blank prevention. Hashtag color street nails, hashtag open hearts color street, hashtag blank prevention. Oh, for heaven's sakes, give me a break. I... And also, maybe I'm missing something, but what do your nails and the pattern have anything to do with blank prevention? I don't get it. I don't see the correlation. I don't understand. Uh, it's a, an open heart graphic. Whatever. Okay. Um, gross. No, I think that's really gross. And and just how dare you? And it's so insensitive, especially, um, you know, in 2019, this has been a big year for mental health, I think. It's been... I think for the first time ever this year, it's been okay to talk about stuff, like really okay just to talk about your mental health. It's become like we're, we're, we're removing the taboo and I think that that is wonderful. What I don't like is while removing the taboo, we have people like this who are sneaking in with disgusting ulterior motives disgusting you hear me lady whoever you are disgusting okay i don't care I, I it wouldn't matter what your nails look like i still think this act is so ugly that it wouldn't matter how great your nails look it is an ugly act and i am done i am so sorry everyone this video <laughs> has not exactly been pleasant <laughs> Ooh, hey everybody you want to go to the it works conference in tampa on january 30th or february 1st oh goody for the low, low price of $249 for a general admission. And ooh, for 20 bucks more, you can do the easy pay ticket general admission. I bet that means you have like one less button to push while you check out. Oh, and then premium ticket, 348, literally $100 more. What is so much better about it? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a car payment. Like, no, thank you. you no. <laughs> ridiculous and it's not even a vacation oh but th but they claimed you're gonna go and like learn some stuff that's gonna be so incredible and amazing that you're gonna turn around and be able to make millions out of what you learn at this conference so 250 bucks might seem like a lot of money but what if I told you you're gonna make 250 million dollars in a year after this conference huh yeah that's right <laughs> Uh, it's incredible, just the, the, the flat out, <laughs> just blatant lies. Uh, yeah, I mean, any company, If I guess, think of it this way, okay? If you really mattered to a company, if you were really that special, they would absolutely pay for you to go to a convention. You wouldn't be paying, okay? The fact that you are paying just proves that they're trying, that this convention is just another money-making thing for the people who own the MLM. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, it's awful. I'm laughing, but it's awful. It's been one of those videos, I guess. <laughs> it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video. It's time for the wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. First up, we have Belle, and this was sent over by Merlotti. And feel free to correct me below. I'm sure I pronounced your name wrong. I do apologize. Anyways, Belle actually adopted the, or did the do adopting herself. She walked into their house one day um, and essentially sat on their doorstep for several days until they relented and let her in. <laughs> you have to appreciate a kitty with some initiative. And then next up, we have Belle's roommate, Kalua, who clearly does not give a flying Thomas the Tank Engine that he was caught red pod on the counter. Thank you so much for sending these photos 
over. Super cute. And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend Adopt and Not Shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can, volunteer if you can, and don't forget to spay new to your pets. And if you want to see a photo of your pets here, then go and send it to my email, which is in my channel description, and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love to hear what you have to say, and I love interacting with you all. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. And I'm going to link my Patreon here somewhere for you to check it out. And if not, no big deal. I'm just glad you came to spend some time with me. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. I know that one had a little bit more uh, rage-inducing stuff than normal. <laughs> so sometimes that happens when you do these MLM things. Sometimes they're hilarious. Sometimes they make you mad. You know, it's exciting. Anyways, I hope wherever you are, you're having a good day. And as always, folks, until the next video, take care.